everyone welcome back to my channel my name is T Louise for those of you that don't know and if you do know and you're returning what's poppin how are you oh my gosh it's been such a long time since I've said that today is January the 10th which is a Tuesday and I'm gonna be posting this on Wednesday so tomorrow or today when you're watching it and um, I'm really excited I had to take a little break from posting and just kind of like chilling off of YouTube for a minute I love YouTube so much and it's one of my favorite forms of creating and things like that but um, vlogmas always takes so much out of me mentally and emotionally and physically <laughs> that I'm always like I just need a little break um, and this year the cute like what six days after Christmas just was not cutting it I needed a little bit more so thank you guys so much for allowing me to take a break I love this community that we built the fact that I got to take a break um, when I felt like taking a break was amazing um, I did get a couple of messages saying when are you coming back to YouTube so I'm pleased to say I'm back on YouTube um, that was a well-needed break but we are back and ready to get back into it um, so today Today's video I am going to be creating a mood board with my iPad kind of uh, a vision board for what I want this year to represent and I kind of just want to talk to you guys about my goals my aspirations and my dreams regarding this year and even time moving forward I got me some boba of course um, this is brown sugar boba from a place called Pearl Cafe. It is amazing. You guys have to check it out if you're in the St. Louis area. They have the most amazing authentic Thai food. And who doesn't like Thai cuisine? Like, I'm obsessed. So, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So for starters, this year has started off amazing, I'd say. I don't know why, I just feel like this is going to be my best year yet. And I know every year we always are like, oh my gosh, we're just so ready for change. We're so excited and so inspired and just like everything's going to happen the, that we want to happen. But like there's just something different in the atmosphere for this year, 2023. First off, it's my 10 year class, like high school class reunion. I graduated 10 years ago. That's crazy. Um, and I'm a part of the committee that's getting to plan it this year, so that's exciting. But it's also like very terrifying. It's like, bro, we're the adults now for real? Like, like that's not a joke. Like legit people are looking to us with the answers, you know, with the clues and it's just, it's just, it's wild. Like I've been at my new job for about 10 months now. Um, this past weekend we had our holiday party. I got to meet a lot of my coworkers, a lot of my doctors, a lot of the nurses that I assist and different things like that. And it was a lot of fun. I was best dressed, of course. Like what did we expect from me? You know what I'm saying? I came with the energy, the fire. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'll insert a picture right here. Uh, I loved it. It was a blast. Um, and I was just reminded like how grateful I am for this job. I was reminded how beautiful and amazing it is to be able to, you know, do something that I'd never done before and to be excelling pretty well at my job is just amazing. And I'm just, I'm so incredibly blessed. And, you know, I just, I feel like God is really going to continue to show up and show out in this year for me on my behalf for my family for my friends for those attached to me for those that talk down on me for those that wish ill upon me like God is going to bless us all you know what I'm saying and I want God to also bless my enemies I don't have enemies that I know of but there's people that may not like me and that's okay um, but I want God to still bless them because you know we are truly living in the last days and Man, if it's not love, it just ain't it. Like, if it ain't got nothing to do with love, I don't want any parts of it, you know? So, yeah. We're already, like, pressed down by the ways of the world. Like, why press them or knock them while they're down? That's the saying. There it goes. But anyways, let's get into it. So, if, so the way that I'm making this 
is I'm going to Canva and if you go on here on Canva I mean they have so many different options like so many different um, templates that you can use so I'm going to just find me one that I resonate with a little bit um, and yeah we're gonna go about it that way Okay, so that was a lot of fun. Okay, so I want to kind of explain or, um, you know, talk out my vision board uh, for 2023. So at the top, I have self-care, um, which I want to make more of a priority this year. Um, as far as like, you know, taking care of my skin, making sure my hair and my nails is done. Um, just things that are important to me that feel like self-care to me, getting massages, uh, going to the chiropractor, you know, different things like that. Taking care of my health, like going to the dentist, getting glasses, um, or that just different things are taken care of within me so that I can just feel good, you know? Um, and then moving along with self-care, I put a salmon bowl on there because I want to also eat better um, and eat more things that are like beneficial for my body than things that are toxic for my body or just not good for me um, in the long run. Um, of course, music. Um, the, the picture I use for music is a woman singing with a guy behind her playing the guitar because I want to take my music to the next level. I want to do a lot more shows. I want to do a lot more performing. I want to do a lot more show, showcasing, um, working on actual bodies of work that I can deliver and give out to the public and things like that. Moving right along. Um, there is a picture of friends like laying on a car with a picture or taking a picture and um, I put friendships on there because friendships is very important and I've lost quite a few friends and my friend group looks so much different than what it used to be um, and what it was before and this year and the years after I'm accepting um, only genuine real good solid friendships um i want that in my life and i want to attract that in my life and so it's on my board uh continuing on there's a passport and a plane because obviously we are going to be traveling also with friendships they have a car in there for like road trips is what i also thought of it as because i love road trips but Continuing on, um, for sure traveling, have to go places. Um, speaking of which, I have a trip coming up in February, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to, of course, vlog it. Then moving right along, we see me with the camera. I'm vlogging, obviously. Um, abundance, uh, money, you know what I'm saying? Um, money honestly makes the world go round, but there's just so many different plans and ideas that I have that I need money to execute those things, so that's on there then under that is a lady in a um in like athletic gear um i've started working out and so i want to continue with that different things like that then towards the bottom there is a movement okay so there's a guy and a girl on the couch they are obvious well to me it's obvious they are dating and then um they get married and then the picture of them in the bed it's just cute because they're looking up whatever um and obviously they're settled into marriage and then boom there's a baby because i want to have a baby um i don't know if this is like legit me saying i'm having a baby in 2023 because that's kind of crazy unless i got married like tomorrow 
Um, but it is saying that the baby is in the near future. So yeah. And then ending with my dream, which is a house. And then, then I didn't put on here a car because I'm like in between what actual car I want, but I know for sure this year I'm going to be buying myself a new car. So it's obvious for me, that's why I didn't put it on there. Plus I didn't wanna be stuck to a particular card that I wasn't sure I was gonna actually end up with. Yeah, but that is my vision board for 2023. Um, if you haven't made a vision, vision board, I definitely implore you to make one. They're super fun, um, but it's just really cool to see your vision, your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations on a piece of paper. I saved this to my phone and I'm going to make this my wallpaper. Um, because I think that it's just so important to kind of have your goals and their aspirations right in front of you. Um, you know, I put YouTube or I put the vlogging, uh, picture on here because I want YouTube to actually be a stream of income one day. And I want it to be something that people can use me as an inspiration or use me as I use other content creators on YouTube. Um, there's some people that I watch that I literally just like, I love their life. I love watching them post certain things. I get excited when they post certain things. Like um, one of the, one of my uh, favorite YouTubers just announced she was pregnant and like, I can't wait to watch her journey of becoming a mother. You know what I'm saying? Going through pregnancy, just the ins and outs and stuff like that. And I really do hope to be that type of content creator for you guys. I want you guys to be excited about my life and it not just be um, me telling you guys what I'm doing um, without you guys feeling some type of substance or some type of reward or you know hope or excitement for even just yourself you know um, so I really want to take things to the next level this year um, I do have an update a YouTube update so I am going to be changing my posting schedule so Today is the last day that I will be posting on Wednesdays. Now my new posting schedule is going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Um, so that'll kind of give me enough time to like break up the content one, kind of curate things the way that I want to curate them. Um, I'll still be coming back with tea talks and those will be either posted on Tuesdays or Thursdays. I haven't solidified which day just yet. Um, and then Sundays more than likely will be a synopsis or a um, weekend in my life vlog uh, recap or whatever the case may be. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to kind of get on board with being more proactive with this channel, with being more reactive to certain trends and things like that. And just, um, you know, wanting to listen to the demand that I have currently and you guys want the videos and I want to give them to you. So I'm really excited. Super awesome things are changing and coming down the pipeline and just elevation all around. And so I'm really excited to be on board and I hope you guys love my content. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. Um, we're pretty lit over here. And just like last year, um, once we get to 500 subscribers, we are doing a giveaway still. Um, I'm really excited for that day to come. We are literally so close, so let's make this happen. Um, and then once we hit 500, the next big goal is to hit 1,000. And um, once we hit 1,000, I think I wanna give something big. But we have to hit a thousand first for me to be able to think about what that big thing is going to be. I have an idea, but we'll we'll see if we actually get to execute it. But thank you guys so much for watching. That is all that I have for you guys today. I love you guys so, so, so much. Again, remember to shine bright because there is nobody shining like you. And continue to just be yourself, to be positive, to be loving, to be kind. Like literally it costs zero dollars to be kind. So be kind. Also, I forgot to tell you, if you guys don't follow me on social media, please follow me at I am Tia Louise um, on Instagram, Twitter, like literally, quite literally everywhere. Um, every single morning on my story, I've been posting the scripture of the day that I'm reading, like the scriptures that I'm reading that day. And just a little like, you know, cute wake me up, like good morning type message for you guys. A lot of people are loving those, so you're 
you're missing out on that sweet content. So be sure to follow my Instagram so that you're able to get those little notifications. It's helping people I'm hearing to stay on top of reading their Bible and things like that, which I think reading your Bible every single day is so important. And last year I did not do that enough. And so this year I'm making it a priority to put my relationship with God first and foremost, and then everything else will be added on to me and so yeah but okay, that was the longest outro of my life i'm so sorry you guys had to uh endure that but bear with me um i love you guys and i will talk to you guys soon bye hasta luego <laughs>